If you're thinking about hiring a mortgage broker marketing agency, it's probably for one of the three main reasons why most people consider doing that. I'm Nick Carpenter from Legion of Loan Officers. Let's jump into the three reasons and talk about solutions and options you have if you're looking to hire a mortgage broker marketing agency. All right, so the number one reason why lenders typically hire a marketing agency or why mortgage brokers choose to work with a marketing agency is to generate leads. All right, so usually when it comes to generating mortgage leads, brokers tend to think about two different choices. One is hire an agency, somebody that can go and generate leads for you through Google ads or social media ads, or you can partner with realtors and you can run Zillow or you know you can get leads from Zillow or Realtor.com by buying into a specific zip code. Those are both definitely options that can create success for you, but if you're looking for how to do this in the most economical way, I'm just gonna give you an ad right now on this video that you can take a screenshot of, go make your own version inside Facebook Ads Manager. Any mortgage broker can run this ad instead of hiring a marketing agency, right? I mean, on average, if you go hire an agency, they're gonna be anywhere from, you know, maybe on the low end, $1,000 a month, up to on the high end, about $3,000 a month. Instead, you can just run your own ads, cut out the mortgage broker marketing agency, put the money into running ads, and you can be able to generate, you know, two, three, five, ten times more leads than what the agency is going to generate for you just by doing the ad yourself. When we when we go to run mortgage ads, which is again why most people is the very first reason they are looking at hiring a marketing agency is uh, the first ad we run with 100% of our clients is one that we can go to a realtor, we can get a listing, and we can run a listing ad in, in partnership with the realtor where we get the leads at the same time as the realtor gets the leads, right? So you're getting notified, the realtor's getting notified, and now you guys get to work that as a partnership. I'm gonna give you the ad, I'm gonna just put it right here on the screen, and you can take this template and this template works 100% of the time in every market we use it. There's two keys of it though. One is keep it simple and two is don't try to use big fancy words. So make sure that you're using small words, one, two syllable words. Those are going to have the most, um, the best impact on getting leads cheaper versus using, you know, like if you say pretty over beautiful. Shorter words over longer words, just keep it really simple. Don't try to get into too much information on the ad because the goal here is we wanna get everybody off of Facebook and we wanna get them into our uh, database, into our CRM, right? In my case, I like using Complete LO uh, as the CRM and ads manager tool, but there's plenty of great, of great options out there. So that's number one, you can just run your own ads Take the 1500 to two grand that you were gonna to have to put into a marketing agency for the retainer, and if you put that all into Facebook ads, you're gonna crush. I mean, that'd be like 50 bucks a day on ads. I mean, if you're just going for short form leads, which is a name, email, phone number, $50 a day, I mean, would be at minimum 20 leads a day, right? I mean, in some cases, we're still getting leads for a dollar, dollar fifty, right? So you do the math on what that would turn into if you're spending fifty bucks a day on ads. I'll just tell you most of my clients are spending eleven to thirty three dollars a day on on ads to generate leads. Instead of hiring a marketing agency, we can put three to five hundred bucks into ads, into an ad spend, and you can basically get the exact same results. The number two reason why people choose to hiring a marketing agency is to you know, especially if you're in the if you're a mortgage broker looking for a marketing agency, is the idea of becoming a local celebrity, right? So sometimes with marketing agencies, they can help you do those retargeting ads where uh, you stay in front of people who engage with your Facebook page or see your ads or watch your videos or the people that are in your database. Like all these people, what's pretty cool is Facebook makes it easy to upload all those people back into Facebook as a custom audience and you can run ads to them. You can, sure, you can definitely go hire an agency if you feel like you need to, to do this for you. But instead of hiring a mortgage broker uh, marketing agency, you might consider just doing the ads yourself. All right, so I'm just gonna give you my system right here. I do about a three to $6 a day spend, 
and we do ads of three different types. So the first is friend builders. These are ads that have nothing to do with mortgage and everything to do with making people feel like they like you better. All right, number two ad that we're doing is uh, we're running social proof ads. So these are gonna be designed to like testimonials, client stories, people saying good things about you, right? Are you creating success for people, for other people? And number three is gonna be upward spiral because we know that people are attracted to other people that are in an upward spiral. And we wanna always be demonstrating that your life is in an upward spiral. People who choose to be around you, their life is in an upward spiral. And as a general statement, you know, people that associate with you um, are doing great and you're doing great as well. And so those are the things that we kind of want to do. Um, naturally, you're going to be perceived as the mortgage expert based off of other people saying great things about you. The fact that you have this amazing network that's doing really well. And because people like you as a person, they're going to automatically assume that they would also like you as a mortgage lender. Right, so, so that's the second reason why people tend to hire agencies, but again, you, you can go hire an agency or you can just run your own retargeting. What's great about retargeting, the whole like celebrity builder piece is um, that you can do it in a way where you're only showing up in front of people two or three times a week extra, but it's just enough where you're really relevant. They feel like they're getting to know you and with the retargeting ads, you can also run them for about a month at a time. So it's not something that you need to put, be putting in time every week. You can set it up once a month, and then at, you know, beginning of next month, you can then just change the ads up and, and switch out your outfit, switch out your background, you know, that type of thing, so that the ads are obviously brand new and people are engaging in the new ads. All right, so that's number two reason why people tend to hire a mortgage broker marketing agency is they want to become a local celebrity. Man, it's pretty simple. You can do it yourself. Again, we do have all of our retargeting celebrity builder ads inside of Complete LO. We basically took everything that we used to do when we had an agency before we shut it down and we built into uh, Complete LO. So that is an option. Again, CompleteLO.com. You can get a trial and, and check it out there. All right, the third reason that people tend to hire a marketing agency is they want to be more visible on social media, okay? So look, I'm going to just show you a way that you can never run out of ideas of what to post on social media again. You sure, you're welcome to pay people out there to do this for you, but man, this, it's never going to be the same as your own authentic voice, you know, right? your own voice in your vernacular and your speech patterns, all that kind of stuff. I mean, people tend to talk differently than they write. So the more you can write on Facebook the way that you actually talk, it's going to be very familiar to people when you get around them in person, right? Or you talk to them on the phone. So social media in that sense is kind of like sales grease, okay? But I'm going to give you a quick exercise. You can do this right now and you can never run out of ideas again about what to post on social media, okay? So take a piece of paper and I want you to write a line that right down the middle. And on the left-hand side, you're going to put known for... And on the right hand side, you're going to put known as, okay? And this is great if you can do this with a spouse or a best friend or your a sibling or somebody that you can bounce ideas off of. But think about in your real life, t take away, don't even think about social media at all, but actually in your real life, who you really truly are, what aspects about who you are would you want to make sure people know about you on social media? For example, like that, you know, you want to be known as a great father. You want to be known as a family man. You know, you want to be known for delivering solid, trustworthy mortgage advice. You want to be known for grilling steaks. You want to be known as a guy who hosts pool backyard, backyard pool parties, right, or barbecues. You want to be known for hunting or for driving a big truck or for loving America or you want to be known as a Christian or whatever your religious values are. You, you know, the, all these things, right? So just go through and you're going to write down about, you know, just brain dump for like 8, 10, 15 minutes, different aspects of who you are in, in real life. And then what I want you to do is kind of reduce it down to about six or eight that are really important to you. And then all you have to do on any given day is look at what you've posted 
look at your list what have you not posted and that's what you should talk about right this is how we can determine what people think about us in real life is based off you know because you think about your facebook friends how many of those people are you seeing on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis or even on an annual basis right? i mean i think about my 5000 friends like on an annual basis i would be very happy and lucky if i saw a few a couple hundred of them you know on an annual basis maybe a few hundred if that people only know about you what you share on social media and what other people say about you so that's pretty cool that you can determine that and again this all this whole conversation is around that if you're thinking about hiring a mortgage broker marketing agency i think instead you should take your money and simply put it into marketing you can run your own lead generation ads today very simple you can run your own celebrity builder retargeting ads today simple enough and you can create your own social media posts you don't need somebody else to do that for you right because they're going to speak differently it's not going to be a hundred percent who you are and you know it, the real reason people hire out is because they don't know what to post and i just gave you unlimited topics that you can cycle through and obviously you can sprinkle in other things right whatever you know other things going on in your life or thoughts you have or questions you want to ask people but if you just remember to hit on these six or eight high level key topics that you want people to associate with you you know your posts is the only way you can make that happen right it's the only way to accomplish that is based off of what you're actually sharing on social media so if you're thinking about hiring a mortgage broker marketing agency I would recommend instead that you get a complete LO account. You can get one at completelo.com or drop me a comment and I can send you my, my private link or you can get a little bit of a discount. In the onboarding process, like that team is going to help you launch out your retargeting ads to become a celebrity, set up your lead generation with all your automation in the background and all that stuff. And you can just see, like if anything, commit to testing for yourself for 30, 60, 90 days and seeing how it's working. And then if you, for some reason, feel like you need to outsource, the Complete LO does have that as an option for $9.97 a month. So it's about a third of what more, most um, done for you agencies are charging today. And they'll run your ads for you, help you set up the automation. They'll run their retargeting ads for you every month, all those pieces. It'll again, just be done for you. And you can you know, still make a small investment, but at least I think you should try it for yourself first. You don't need to hire a mortgage broker marketing agency because you can do this yourself, right? And then the money that you save on the retainer, put all that into marketing. Put If you were going to spend $2,000, put the whole $2,000 into, into your monthly budget and see the results that you can create by putting that type of income or you know that type of a budget into what you're doing in your marketing, and that's how you can grow. So if you want to know more information about what we're doing inside the Legion of Loan Officers or with Complete LO, the links are right around here. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment. What did you get out of this video? What would you also, you know, what would you recommend to somebody if they were thinking about hiring a, a, mar a mortgage broker marketing agency right now? What recommendations do you have for them? And uh, we'll see you back on the next one. Later.